Okay, so uh, this happens a lot in, in our community is um, parents will add their kids to the title for um, maybe they want to, uh, you know, they want the kid to have it when they pass away, right? Or, uh, or they completely give it to their kids because, you know, they, parents don't want anything in the name. But this can cause a lot of problems uh, for, uh, for both the parents and the kids. And so uh, I'll show you why I do not recommend doing it. Uh, so there's potential gift tax issues. Uh, there's, I think, the limitations like twelve or fifteen thousand dollars. So um, technically, the parents are supposed to file a gift tax return, um, but most people don't. So there's gift tax issues. Uh, you lose the stepped-up be uh, basis benefits. So I told you about the, the um, uh, community property. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they would lose. Uh, you know, if you transfer it to the kids. Uh, they would lose the, the, the stepped up tax basis if they were sell, to sell their property. Now the property is the asset of the kids or the child, and which could satisfy creditors. So if my parents title me, well, sell the house or give me the house, and I go run a red light and hit another person, now it's my asset that the, the other driver can go after me for. So it's not, not always a good, good idea. Quick question on yeah. that. Might be out of your um, head of the area, but, um why I'm asking, um, how can I minimize the property tax on my child? Because if we do the transfer later on, mm -hmm. we would keep it when they pass away. I mean, like actually, when they, they pass away, that's going to be set up. So, with regards to the property tax, did you know there's a parent-child exclusion? Yeah, but when they're alive, so we're talking about if they don't want. That still them. that still counts. So even if they pass away. If they pass away. The step-up, you get so, tax so, uh, you keep the property tax benefit as well? So step-up basis and property tax uh, reassessment is two different issues. So reassessment, there's no reassessment, even if a lie or death, because it's, it's a parent-to-child okay, transfer. I want to verify. Yeah. Even if they pass it as a... Yeah, unless the law has changed, but as far as I know, there's, okay. there, it hasn't changed. Yeah, so oh. that, that stays. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and then once you transfer it back, once you transfer it to the kids, they, they can't get it back unless the kid agrees, right? So if there's a falling out or they don't get along, then you're sorry, you just lost the house. And uh, you know, to your property tax issues, there's, there's, uh, th there's no issues when it's transferred from parent to child, but if the par parent needs to get the property back, then that's, that'll cause reassessment because there's no exemption from child to, uh, child to parent. So I recommend doing this as use estate planning um, uh, tools to tra properly transfer uh, property and other assets to the kids um, upon death. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit about the estate planning then? Yeah. So uh, you guys are probably familiar with probate uh, or have heard of the, the, the term. So this is the kind of rule of thumb I, use, I like to tell my clients. Um, in Orange County, it's pretty fair to say most property is worth half a million dollars, right? It's pretty fair to say. So I did a calculation. The probate fees on a half a million dollar, and this is uh, this is market value. This is not uh, this is not equity. This is market value. The um, the probate fees on a half a million dollar property is eleven thousand dollars. They have to pay to to the government if if it's not planned for properly. So uh, we use uh, vehicles like uh, revocable living trust, most popular. Um, in in really tight crunches, we'll use a transfer on death deed, but we don't we don't recommend that as a long term solution. Um, those are to the two most popular ways to um, do it. Some people like to add, like adding the child because when you add a child, it's still uh, joint tenants, and when you tie a joint tenants, that still avoids pro uh, probate, and that the property will just revert to the existing um, the surviving owners, right? So my mom and me, my dad passes away. It does, avoids probate and it just goes to me and my mom, okay? But revocable living trust is, is the most, most popular uh, um, tool to avoid, uh, uh, avoid probate. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a, uh, some work to set it up, but when someone passes away, it's, it's gonna make the process a lot smoother. It's gonna help you guys sell the property a lot easier if they have to do trust administration um, uh, to the next, uh, to the kids or, or, or whoever wants to buy the property afterwards. So...